Welcome to the only place in the world where you can find the truth, uh, nature, scientific truth, everything else is just errors. Maybe you want to keep your errors, if not, then listen and learn. So today we will talk about uh, Yes, we will talk about, also talk about here Kim Jong-un and so on, but just later. And now we will uh, take a look at our uh, today's picture. Oh, it's too high, I think. So maybe like uh, this. So we have... Uh, in Germany, we have, and this is, I think, in all over the world, we have people who have, who, have, uh, who are living in, let, let us say, in a mood of nationalism, of loving uh, uh, an, a too big love uh, for their nation and so on. Yes. And we have in Germany two of them who have the positive aspect that they say uh, that they are, yes, in parts agree with our, our we, we are next scientists for future.de, they agree with our, uh, yes, with our idea or with our uh, with our evolution ah evol evolutionary biology politics science so if we uh, in german it's called evolutionsbiologische politikwissenschaft if you if you try to make politics um, without evolutionary biology, you must go wrong and put uh, make uh, and produce a lot of damage to your, your to your state. Yes, and and. Professor Ulrich Kutschera in Germany, he says something like, oh, he says Feindbild Wissenschaft. That means in English something like, yeah, nature science and real science is a new enemy of the modern societies with all their craziness. And I think he's right. The problem is that someone who has a nationalistic mood or, or is in a nationalistic mood or he is from the right field or more Republican than Democrat, yeah, uh, those, those nationalistic biologists say select the data from nature science in a special way and they interpret the data the, from uh, nature science different than we. Because we don't have those nationalistic moods. We don't care about such unimportant things. And so we we listen to other uh, uh, aspects and to every aspect of nature science and we just don't put away let us let us see what a nationalistic uh, 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 biologist does to nationalism or mostly most times uh, there is a connected a love to family small family, mother, father, child. And those people 
ignore all information from the nature science uh, signs that say oh maybe a human being is genetically not constructed for those small families maybe it's constructed for co living in communes for bonobo communism for example but this people who live in a nationalistic mood say don't say they do, uh, they ignore such things yeah because they don't like it hmm. the next scientist for future.de and their children are suffering like everyone before suffered with a let me say a pioneer's depression Charles Darwin had, had, a, had a pioneer depression and Galilei, Galilei, Galilei when he was uh, sent to uh, was was uh, sent to yes when he was uh, locked inside his his house he for sure had a pioneer's depression long time ago 400000 years ago more into, uh, uh, people with the biggest brains had the biggest success and were loved by all but now in a world of advantage bringing and success bringing errors uh, the people with the biggest brain are suffer suffering the most because the people that don't understand them uh, are ne uh, yes react neg negatively 400,000 years ago those, those people with the biggest brain gave the biggest donations to their commune and were loved by everybody and so it's a new phenomenon the result of the invention of of shops and free market and free forms of working together and the result is that the people with the biggest brains are unhappy and so I can understand that, that some of those people decided not to have children because maybe those children will all also have a big brain and will also suffer, suffer from, from their big brains because in many fields, in the field of science, people with big brains are the most hated persons if they, maybe they should have children but send them to to technology because if they invent a new faster computer everybody will love them because this is primitive Pri uh, if they invent only primitive things that primitive people can understand then it's okay but science is a field which has one big problem the other people must understand you but the other people have smaller brains and they are not able to understand you and then begins the pioneers depression in science yes yeah Kuchera, uh, bring some uh, new idea he t 
told us that that the spermia, yeah, I don't know, sperms, sperms. I think it's called sperms. Um, men give their sperms and sperms and eggs of the women together result in a zygote, zygot, zygot, uh, I don't know the word, in a, big, uh, in a, in a, yes, uh, uh, then, then the growing to a child starts. And so sperms have a big variation in themselves. They are sperms that will make the baby to an, uh, uh, produce a very small brain and other sperms produce a very big brain. Maybe this is, uh, has to do with the fact that the sperms never have an X chromosome because the, the X chromosome is so, uh, making a, uh, something like st uh, st stability or something like constancy. And the Y chromosome stands for not much information, so much is possible, much variation is possible. Yes. Uh, so, uh, yes, we always were saying that men were experiments because women have to Men are not so important. A man can be every um, other man can do the job of a special man. So men are not important. Women are important because uh, another wo woman cannot uh, uh, cannot produce the baby of uh, another woman that dies. So woman must be of average, uh, yes, must be in everything, woman must be more in in the middle, in the, uh, must be more in close to average people. And men can be experiments, can, can experiments in every direction. And yes, because they are unimportant. Every other man can, one man can make all women pregnant in the whole commune. So, if one man dies, so what? Yes, and this is the reason. And this is this. Uh, maybe this uh, with a that the sperms produce can produce so much different uh, differences. Uh, uh, this is yeah. It's 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 a. It, it, I think it fits well to uh, our all our ideas to this field. Yeah, and life, Kuchera says, uh, life about, let's say, about 3.5 billions of years ago it started. So, uh, to start it to become important and big on Earth. Yeah, Bonobos, Panpaniscus, Bonobos, maybe they have some teeth like lions, some killer teeth, because they sometimes 
on the trees, climbing fast, have the possibility to f to uh, uh, to catch uh, other apes and other animals, and therefore maybe they need those bigger teeth. Also, they don't live with jealousy and with rivalry and so they are not gorilla like gorilla gorillas don't catch other animals they need their big teeth like a lion only only for fights against other gorillas And bonobos don't fight against other bo uh, bonobos, but they hunt. They are hunters sometimes. And therefore maybe they have little teeth, like uh, smaller teeth than the lion, but a little bit like this. Yes? To kill the people, to to open the bodies of the the the, the uh, uh, to kill to kill uh, the the prey, and to open the bodies of the prey. Hmm. Men of the of the animals that they uh, did uh, that they caught. Human beings. Uh, maybe left their teeth, their uh, lion teeth, because they were no longer fighting against other men. No jealousy, no rivalry. So this this is a, a hint for communistic. Bonobo communism also in men and uh, and they were not able uh, in the savanna maybe with their walk on two feet and with only hands maybe they were not able to catch wild animals and so they did not need big teeth to open those many animals or to kill those animals because they were too slow bonobos in the trees are very fast but men walking on two feet were very slow and so they could not catch wild animals. And so they did not need teeth for opening the prey. And this uh, together, yes. And then 2.5 2 million years ago, they invented the stone knives and the stone hammers and after, in the time after, they invented other instruments and then they could hunt. And then they could, could catch animals, but not before. Yes. Yeah, and Tito Sarrazin and Ulrich Kutschera in Germany, and we have those people all over the world, similar people. And he is something, we call it in Deutsch, Deutsch in German, we would call it Deutsch Tümelig Völkisch Deutsch Kulturell Tümeleien, yeah, Deutsch Kultur Tümeleien. Yes, they, they are in some way in nationalistic moods, yes? Uh, 
Another information, in Germany we have now, we have a terrible lockdown and shutdown in Germany because of uh, fears or ideas of a killer virus with Corona. And we have 250 pa patients on the special stations we, uh, we, we call in Germany, we call it in the hospitals, we ca call it Intensivstationen. So uh, where, where you have a possibility to give uh, air to the people and so on. yeah. And we have only two 500 beds full of patients and 9,000 9, are standing free without page, uh, without, uh, uh, yeah, they are free. Yeah? And, and they could produce, every time they want, they could produce more of those beds, special beds. This means that they produce, uh, in, a, in an active way, produce Uh, yes, not enough dead people. You can damage a state by producing too many deaths and you can damage a state by producing not enough deaths, dead people. Because uh, everything has a price. We can, could always produce not enough debts, but we must pay a lot for it and we gain nothing for it. And so it's a big mistake and Germany should take a look that every, in every winter they should have about 20,000 debts by diseases similar to corona, influenza, and so on. And now they have only 10,000, and this is not enough. So they should s uh, stop parts of the lockdown till they have a normal rate of dying people. Because everything else costs so much that it ruins a state. But I told you, the Germ German-speaking region is dead because they don't have the intelligence to do the right things. Yeah? Germany is dead as the Roman Empire was dead many hundreds of years before they really were finished. Hmm? Because if you are on a trip to extinction, there are points of no return. And maybe the German-speaking region has, has uh, reached those points of no return some time ago, some times ago. Uh, you must always think, if, if you have a, a state where you help poor people, I told you about the three dangerous things here uh, turn here go here to the right uh, here somewhere here must be a little instrument to make this show faster turn it uh, to two times tempo because I can only speak very slow and I want only to speak uh, very slow so we have here the problem. Here, World's Council of Wise People, Next Scientists for Future, a part of the World's Council. 
Um, and we have the problem. If we have, uh, yes, an, um, a part of the government that cares for poor people, then something strange ha happens under conditions. We have three terrible conditions. Free market, free forms of working together, and the belief that every child th that is born is a genius. Those are the biggest errors of mankind. Sorry, some water. So, and we then we have here one one man working, one person working in the, this uh, part of the government, and he says. Oh, I must work for the whole state. I must be careful that I don't begin to work against the society and for my own profits. So this is a good man, a huh? good person. And here we have the nature law of mutation and selection, or variation and selection, and so we... it. Mm, must come, it has to come to a, per to a first person that is believing in errors, in mistakes, in wrong ideas. So, this person believes, oh, those poor people are, oh, they are the best pe persons in the world and Oh, I must, uh, yes, we must change the state so that they get a lot and they can feed their children well and so on. And so, and those ideas produce more poor people because they get children and they get a lot of money for their children. And so they are, they are more and more people are poor and so this person says, oh, I cannot, uh, it's too much work for one person. You must give me other persons who work for me. And then this person gets uh, becomes the boss and becomes important because he has 10 people working working for him. No? This person has 10 people working for, for, for this person. And this means that this, the, the errors, the mistakes, the wrong, the wrong ideas became to success bringing wrong ideas. Uh, advantage bringing errors, yes? And this is a problem with free forms working together. So this person is working against the society and is working for himself and for the poor and so the poor get more and more and so the size of the size of the brain the average size of the brain gets smaller and smaller so that the whole state is getting less intelligent and the success is yeah is getting smaller and smaller. So, this is the problem. And our reforms uh, are saying, oh, s someone only gets a little money as a basic 
money and only gets money for every person that he brings to work. And only when this person pays taxes, he gets a part of it. And this stops those people with those wrong ideas. And yeah, and we should say every poor person gets help by the state. But not one cent and not one thing to eat for the babies. Because then those people uh, stop to produce babies. Because if they get a baby, they have 15 hours time to decide whether they want to accept this baby or they want this baby to be brought into a state of happiness but maybe by morphium oils massage or something else i don't know how it w would be possible so that it has no pain at all and will die softly because every natural natural uh, culture when they don't want a baby they put give it to nature and let it die and this is sometimes with pain and we will do it without any pain yeah but we should not try to be better than natural cultures this is also always a crazy idea yeah Everybody who is saying, in Germany we have people who are say, we are haben Platz, the, who say, uh, we have enough place for people from other states. Yeah, every person who says such thing or Yeah, must become one person from from outside his state must become this person to to a new uh, person who who has to live in the apartment of the person who said I we have play enough place for new people. Uh, let us see uh, how much time it will take uh, with, uh, 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 how much time it will take till uh, uh, those people will say oh no I don't want people from other states anymore uh, maybe uh, they will be healed from those uh, strange ideas Overcrowding, overpopulation, uh, Saratin says, is the biggest problem. Yeah, and I think he's uh, he's uh, true. He doesn't understand that free market and free forms of working together necessarily produced. Uh, produced hate against bodily contact this produced a tendency that the body no longer knows that there is a baby and so the body produces a new child and so we have too many children because the the 
body of the mother gets a signal that the naked baby has contact to the naked body of the mother and this and if this is totally free without suppression of bodily contacts then this is a signal for the body to produce no other babies. And this is stopped by free market because only people with less body contacts, bodily contacts, are getting addicted to shopping, to consumerism, to to uh, alcohol, cigarettes, and uh, medicine, and so on. And so, if we we want to stop overpopulation, then we have to stop suppression of sexuality and bodily contacts, and then we get less children. And if we allow those people who cannot feed their children to not accept those children, f f uh, 15 hours a newborn baby belongs to you. And if you cannot feed this child, so the state will help you that it dies without any pain in a happy, uh, uh, happy uh, uh, mood. Um, and this will solve this problem. Or do you have an idea of other ways to solve this problem? We didn't find other. And the nature did find those solutions before. Hmm? Uh, and so, if those people who cannot feed their children on their own, if we help them and give food to those children, those people with the smaller brains have then have too many ch children, so that's the average, average size of the brains gets smaller. Yeah? Automatically. So, those are nature laws. Hmm? In German, the Ger the Deutsche Kultur, the German culture, this is only, yes, uh, accumulation of of very dangerous and negative. Advantage bringing errors that bring advantage to the person that is believing them and telling them, but bringing damage to to every other person. And such a German culture, I don't want to keep. I want to see it stopped and not keep it. And this is a mistake of those nationalistic people. They don't see that their culture is dangerous, is putting damage to most of the people, and is bad. Mm -hmm.
And how did the German-speaking region, how did they kill themselves? Because I say oh, they are dead and they don't know it. So, uh, like, the, like the Roman Empire didn't know that it was dead, uh, but it was dead because it reached a point of no return, where no return is pos possible. So, what did the Europeans do? They had some wrong ideas, and I think those ideas, in somewhere where, adva for some people, were advantage bringing errors. Maybe for the weapon industry, the idea of a revolution where you kill people with bigger brains. Maybe such an idea is go is a, was an advantage bringing idea for the weapon industry because so they did not ho have only the wars, so they have the revolutions to sell their weapons as a new field. And yes, revolutions killed people with big brains. Bismarck's social reforms, which transformed parts of the state's govern of the governments in so in, into those uh, uh, pe uh, uh, parts who cared for for the poor. Say, I told you before how they did it. They produced more people with small brains, and so the average brain size decreased, got smaller. I say it simple got smaller. And then Adolf Hitler, I think he had a very small brain uh, because of the factors before. Hitler fighted against the German Jewish intelligence and he sent the intelligent people from the high schools or universities in the war in the in the war and uh, so they were killed and so we lost a lo in, in the uh, German speaking region we lost a lot of people with big brain and so only those people with smaller brains could get children yeah? and so in the German-speaking region, the brains got smaller and smaller. Yes. And then we have had another idea in our pseudosciences, they came up the idea to solve the problem of overpopulation and overcrowding, uh, to solve it here, and but only the intelligent, pe uh, the intelligent people listened to those ideas and they stopped getting children. And so the people with the bigger brains got no children, and those with the smaller brains got more children. Uh, and so the average brain size got smaller and smaller again. And then, uh, yes, so we got the, those suicidal concepts, uh, we got more and more especially in the German-speaking regions. Sorry, some water. T. 
Tilo Sarrazin uh, brought a new idea. We were saying that Germany has to build asyl parks in every region of the world close to the states in which war happens or problems are. Sarrazin says, Sarrazin says, why this? He says, those asyl, asylum parks, asylum parks, yeah, uh, parks for people who are uh, threatened by war or violence, yeah, asylum, Asyl? Uh, asyl? <laughs> I, I don't know the world. And those parks, uh, European states should only do close to other European states. And African states should build up such parks for other African states. Yeah, I think maybe this will not be accepted by the world because of because Germany uh, has a, yes has to do more uh, the world will say yeah so I think our idea is the right one but there is another problem we have in in in, in Germany and Europe we have a lot of people without uh, without a paper that allows them to stay here. We must only think, uh, make one very simple thing. We must say 10 years of prison for every person that is found without a, a, a paper that allows him to stay. And then we, this problem is solved, because then these persons will leave the state immediately. Uh, maybe after one, two, three persons are in prison for ten years, then every other person, which which is not welcome, will leave. And then the problem is solved. So we don't need. Uh, to make genetic anal analysis or the, uh, analytics to find where the people belongs to, so we don't have to pay for the for the for tra uh, for bringing the persons to their home region. It's not necessary. If you say ten years of prison for if every person without a paper that allows them to stay, then the problem is solved because the persons find their own way home. Uh, and there is another instrument, the 20 reforms of the next scientists for future. The next scientists for future said that they Without cost, they will help one state to to implement those twenty reforms, and those twenty reforms in Germany will would produce, for example, Germany would produce uh, five hundred billions of euros every year. In one year 500 billions, in the next year again 500 billions. And this is money. If we see in a state, we can, if we see something like a parallel societies, uh, something like uh, yeah, non-integration, uh, parallel societies, as we see it uh, in, in the United States, we have maybe the Chinese society, the black society, the white societies, and so on. 
Yes, we can with with so much with so much money we can give them money and they give back their their documents, their uh, yes, their passports, passports. Yeah, they say, "Oh, I'm no longer German. I give away my German passport and my uh, 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 German identity card, and th I leave Germany. And goodbye. And I have more money to have a good start at home." And then we have prob solved the problem problem of those, yeah, par 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 parallel societies or of those those states in a state, because I don't know whether states in a state are a good idea and will have good re results in the end. You see what happens in the United States. There is a war between black and white. And this since 300 years. Yes, I think it was no good idea. Uh, United States should have, br should have brought the blacks back to America. Yeah? This, this, I think this would have been the only good idea. They should have given them some money and sent them back to Africa, where they came from, where they were brought from. Yes, after they decided that slavery is not okay. Um, Yes, so we must talk about this in the end here. Let us talk about. Yes, Kim Jong Un. Our hope is maybe Kim Jong Un. We are hoping that you have a big brain and can understand what we are talking about. And with those 20 reforms, you Northern Korea will become the most successful state on earth. So please contact us and let's cooperate. Then you will be in some years you will be the most successful state on earth. Yeah? And our idea of Bonobo com communism and uh, in Germany, we say would say real Planwirtschaft so, uh, is fitting to your state's form. And if you really want to have big success, you need the 20 reforms of the next scientist for future. Leonardo DiCaprio, I hope I can only hope that your brain is big enough to understand this here the English shows and the next scientists for future. And so you can talk uh, with Greta Thunberg about uh, cooperation and together we make, we, we start a worldwide discussion about the reforms of eco-good, of citizen assemblies, of referendum, of more democracy, and so we discuss all in the, in the 20 reforms of the next scientists for future. And so we, we uh, start discussion, the discussion about a better world, to make how to make this world a better place. So I hope you understand us. And China. You have a, some communistic past. So we are sympathizing also with Bonobo communism and so on. So 
I hope your brain is big enough to understand. I hope there is there are some Chinese people who are, whose, whose brains are big enough to understand what we are talking about. Yes, we can only hope this. If not, yes, Germany is the, the German-speaking region is dead, and maybe the rest of the world is, is will go on living, but will live in pain and suffering, and pain and suffering, and pain and suffering, because this is the future of mankind without the twenty reforms. It will go like this. Here we grew up here. Here was our maximum, and then now we are going down. And now here we must paint those people as fat people, fat people, sick people, with a rollator, with with instruments. They, they cannot walk alone anymore because they are so fat and sick and ill and so. And this will be our future. And the brains get smaller and smaller, and we all get more, yeah, less intelligent from year to year. So this was this today's scientific news and talks. Today we had two of them. But why not? So, so, have a nice evening.